Okay, so the last part of today was the beginning of the Asia 21 Leadership Summit, for which I am a Houston delegate. I uh, have to say it was kind of an interesting, interesting evening. Um, I'm sitting at dinner, and the person sitting next to me, you know, we introduce ourselves, we start talking, and she says, oh, well, I'm from Afghanistan. Well, and the entire table kind of, kind of got quiet. Here's the guy from the U.S. and the lady from Afghanistan sitting next to each other. And I have to admit, I sat there wondering what the heck it was I was supposed to say next. Um, you know, what do you say? Sorry about the state of your country. You know, you come from a country that invaded her country. So, um, it, it, was, it was a difficult conversation to initiate. But it was actually a very interesting learning experience for me. She runs an NGO that works for the rights of women and minorities in Afghanistan. And so from her perspective, Afghanistan is in, a, is in much better shape than it ever was before under the Taliban because women do have more rights and she's able to campaign more for the rights of minorities. But what also amazed me was how accurate it seemed like the information that we get from the media is, at least from what she told me. Um, we seem to both be up on the same kind of things and she actually lives there. So uh, it's pretty incredible that in the 24-hour news cycle that's actually pretty accurate. But along with that, I've met some incredible people, um, an author from Australia. Um, I met an F-16 pilot today. Uh, just people who are doing some incredible work. Some, you know, working on rural education in places like India and Vietnam. You know, people tr actually making a difference in the world. And that's a pretty great group to be around.